In this video, we're going to look at error intervals. It's very important whenever you've been given a number that has been rounded or truncated to consider the possible values that number could have taken, especially if you're considering using it in any future calculations, because obviously the error would be amplified. So we're going to look at four typical GCSE questions on finding error intervals. So our first question, the length of a line L is measured as 8 centimetres correct to the near centimetre. Correct to the near centimetre means it's been rounded to the near centimetre. Using inequalities, write down the error interval for L. So what we're going to do is we're going to consider the possible lengths that this line could have taken before being rounded to be 8 centimetres. So obviously I'm just going to write here 7, 8 and 9. And the numbers in the middle, 7.5 and 8.5. And we're going to consider some values which would round to 8. So obviously you could have a 7.9, 7.8, decimal numbers like 7.75, etc. 7.7, 7.6. Um, and even down to and including 7.5, because 7.5 would round would round up to 8. But anything below 7.5 would round down to 7. So here, for instance, 7.49 would, because it's 7.4, would round down to 7. So the, uh, the smallest or the shortest length of this line would be 7.5 centimetres. Now, in terms of the numbers above 8, well, it could obviously be 8.1 or, no, or 8.05, etc. Uh, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4. It can be numbers such as 8.45, numbers such as 8.49, 8.497, etc. Any number up to, but not including 8.5, because 8.5 would round up to 9, but any number up to 8.5 would round down to 8. So the way we'd write that is we would say the length of the line is bigger than or equal to 7.5, because it can be 7.5, but it's going to be less than 8.5. So that would include all the numbers up to 8.5, but not 8.5. And that's it. So the error interval for the length of this line would be the length of the line is bigger than or equal to 7.5 centimetres, but less than 8.5 centimetres. Okay, so our next example. Amelia runs a number y to one decimal place. Her answer is 2.8. Write down the error interval for y. So again, this time she rounds the number. Okay, uh, that's terrible underline. <laughs> I'll try it again. Uh, she rounds the number and her, no her answer is 2.8 and she's rounding it to one decimal place. So obviously we'd have 2.7 being the one below and 2.9 being the one above. Okay, and the number in the middle, 2.75 and 2.85. So 2.75 would be the lowest number that would round up to be 2.8. So we're gonna write 2.75 down as the lowest possible number. And 2.85, again, um, any number up to, but not including that number, would round down to 2.8. So I'm going to write it down, 2.85. And y. So y can be any number that is bigger than or equal to 2.75, but it's got to be less than 2.85. Okay, it can't obviously be 2.85. And that's it. So that's the error interval for y. y can be any number between 2.75 and 2.85, but it can also be the 2.75 as well, but it can't be the 2.85. Okay, our next example. Josh rounds a number n to two decimal places. So he's rounding it again, and it's two decimal places this time. And his answer is 70.61. Write down an error interval for n. So I'm going to do this one without drawing the number line. So um, n. Now, in terms of the lowest possible number that would round up to 70.61 to two decimal places, well, that's going to be 70.605 because um, anything below that would round down to 70.60 or 70.6, um, but 70.605 would round up to 70.61, and that would be the lowest possible number which would round up to it. Okay, and then uh, in terms of the highest possible number, well, it would be any number up to, but not including 70.615, because if um, any number up to that number, but not including it, would round down to 70.61 to two decimal places. And that's it. Okay, now last example. The time T to complete a puzzle is given as 16.8 seconds truncated to one decimal place. 
write down the error interval for the time t. So obviously in this one it's been truncated as opposed to being rounded, so we're going to approach it in a slightly different way. Now if you need to revise truncation, look at corporate maths and look at the video on it, but I'm just going to do a quick recap now also. So if I had a number, for instance 7.541, and I was asked to truncate that to one decimal place, I would go to the number in the first decimal place and I would just ignore anything beyond that. So if I was asked to truncate that to one decimal place, it would just be 7.5. Um, if I had something like this, 7.589, obviously if I was asked to round this, it'd be 7.6, but if I was asked to truncate it to one decimal place, again, I would just ignore anything beyond the first decimal place, and again, it would be 7.5. So trunc truncation is just where you're cutting a number with decimals short to a certain point. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this question now. So it says the time taken, uh, the time um, has been truncated to 16.8 seconds. So that means that it could have been 16.8, and you know that could have just been truncated to be 16.8. Um, it could be numbers bigger than that. So for instance, 16.81 again, that would be truncated to 16.8. Could have been 16.817 again, that would be truncated to 16.8. Could have been 16.8. Two could have been sixteen point eight um, seven even because that again would be truncated to sixteen point eight. It could have been truncated. Uh, it could have been sixteen point eight nine nine, but it couldn't have been sixteen point nine something because that wouldn't if you were to truncate that it would be sixteen point nine. So really, it's going to be any number that is bigger than or equal to sixteen point eight. But it's going to be any number, well obviously it can't be 16.9, but it can be any number up to that, so up to 16.9. And that's it. So the time would be, the error interval would be, the time is anything that is bigger than or equal to 16.8, but less than 16.9. In other words, it would be any number that is 16.8 something. And that's it.